In this one, we'll be taking a look at how Next.js has got this built-in support for CSS. So over here, what I've done is I've created a styles.css file and it's just containing some stuff like padding, max width, margin, and background color. Now, if I have to include it globally, what I need to do is create a file inside pages directory and this file will have a special name. It's going to be underscore app dot js. And inside this one, we'll be importing the styles.css file. And once you have done that, the next step that we need to do is writing this export default function where you will be specifying the name of the app inside the index.js file. So here we have the const app and that is what we are using over here as well. And these are the default parameters that will be passed and we are finally returning a component. Now the benefit of importing styles using this approach is that it is available globally. So you don't have to go and include it in every page that you create for instance over here about home. And the other thing is that it also allows you to do hot reloading. So as soon as you make changes over here in the style sheet, it will be applied to all the pages that's hot reloading for you so now let's go ahead and see it in action so what we'll do is we'll go to terminal we'll say new terminal and here first thing we'll do is build it and once it's built successfully we'll be running it using npm start click on this link to open up in browser and there you have it let's go to about page and you can see the css is being applied on all the pages that we have created till now so that was built-in CSS support in next year's.